Good morning, party people. It is Thursday, October 20th. Almost Halloween, right around the corner. We are leaving uh, Rancheros de la Santa Fe RV park. It was nice. Um, all the people that worked in there, super nice. Like the staff, uh, the internet was all right. Uh, we just stayed for one night. It was a little expensive, but it was basically just like, so we could sleep, so we could get to the next leg of our trip which we are surprisingly going to be going to Texas today. And I say surprisingly because we're really not Texas people, but it's just, that's that's where it's taking us. It's taking us from here to Texas to Oklahoma, so we have to drive through there. We could backtrack, but that'll be, that'll take a while. So what, we're going down a uh, Route 66 for a while today? Yeah, right now we're on old Route 66. And we'll be gotten on I-40 and it's just like, it's a straight shot. Yeah. There's nothing to see really once we get on I-40, so let's just kind of let's just get through and get it over with. Do the dang thing. It's going to be a almost four-hour drive today. Uh, we might break it up a bit, probably stop and look at things. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the site that we're going to tonight that Luke found, it has hookups. And it's free, so that's kind of like an RVer's dream. Yeah. We had to stop and get some gas, and this is a busy gas station. Um, yep, you're good. Perfect. Gas is three sixty-two a gallon here. Not bad. You know what I haven't had in a while? Well, they call them slurpees, I call them ICs. Where do you call them or you're from? We call them ICs, but, hmm. Coke Icy. Luke got a Mountain Dew, and then I got one of these little La Lenny and Larry's cookies. They're really good and they're plant-based. And I want y'all to look outside. There are cows. They're literally just walking. There's no fence. I'm gonna go try to pet one because I love cows. You're so pretty. I don't have any food or anything, but can I pet you? Come here. I just want to like walk up to them because they do have horns. And this could be someone's property, but there's no fence line. Hey, cutie. Oh, they definitely do belong to someone. They have tags on their ears. and oh, They're all leaving me. I wanted to give one a love. Someone drove by on their side by side and they could have looked at me and I waved at them and they smiled and waved so I guess it was fine. But he is kind of trying to corral the cows right now into an area. So, yeah, he's getting them all going that way. Bye cows, I love you. So, that was a lot of gas. It was. 40.7 gallons at 362 a gallon. Which my goal was when we left here to pay less than four dollars a gallon for gas. Yeah, because so it was expensive. Pay. But that was 376 miles with an average miles per gallon of 9.23, which is really good. That's, that's the best we've seen yet. That's really good for us. But considering we're going mostly down, that helps. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, Look at this guy's cool car. I'm gonna let him drive by so we can show you. That's awesome. What is it? I like it. Right around. Neat. <laughs> Well, it's not a truck stop, it's just a rest stop, but there's lots of trucks out here. So I don't know how I do the things that I do, I really don't, but I'm constantly hurting myself. Uh, so we're digging this drawer, we're digging all over, trying to find the number of our friends that are back in Oklahoma so we can get a hold of them. And I like take my head and full force slam my lip down into this drawer. I don't know how I did it or why I did it. Like I think I was grabbing something anyway. 
I busted my lip open right here. And my teeth kind of hurt. stretch our legs, see if there's any staple items we can pick up. And yeah, we're pretty much here. We're only like, what, maybe nine minutes away from our our stay location? Yeah, not far at all. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Small town, what do you do? You go to Walmart. You go to Walmart. So we just got out of the wild world of Wally, -E, and I wanted to show you guys our food haul plus other things. So we'll get started with the frozen items so I can get those put away. There's only two. I got some vegetarian tamales to try. These are green chili, zucchini, and cheese. Luke saw them and thought I'd probably like them. Got some Tostino's pizza rolls because those are, those are staple here. And Luke actually just went out to fill up the tire again because I guess it's leaking a little bit. Yeah, it's the something. Again. I'm going to take off those hubcaps. Yeah. They're garbage. Okay. I think that's a big part. It's jiggling everything around. Okay. So okay. Well, thank you. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Cool deal. All right. We'll get to the refrigerator stuff. We've got some vegetable spread, some strawberries. Yummy. This apple here, this was a dollar twenty, and I am not joking. It's called the New Zealand Envy. Okay, so this thing better be good, cause I want to see what all the hubbub's about. It is pretty. It does smell really good, so it's got that going for it. We got some turkey breast for sandwiches. Had to have some string cheese. We got the pepper jack here. Some sliced gouda. Luke wanted some eggnog. It is eggnog season. Where are my eggnog people at? I am not an eggnog person. Luke is so. Comment below, do you like eggnog or not? Got some more coffee creamer. I'm gonna put, oh, one more thing. And some biscuits. I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge and then we'll move on to the next part. All right, part two of this haul. Luke got him some himself some arch supports for his hiking shoes. He needed those. I got some new eyeliner. Luke is such a sweetie pie. He's like, hey babe, didn't you say you wanted some new eyeliner? Like, I had forgotten about it and he remembered. It's so sweet. So, Kleiner wants to see it because she's into makeup. I got the Maybelline Hyper Easy in a Deep Brown. I haven't tried this yet. I'll let you know what I think. Also got some black velvet lip liner, or I'm sorry, yeah, lip liner and matte liquid lipstick for, you know, spooky season. I also got some Maybelline Ultra Liner um, in a dark brown as well. So, got that. Uh, got ourselves some helmets. This is Luke's and this is mine. I got the youth because I have a tiny head. <laughs> this, this has a GoPro attachment to it, so that's cool. Uh, let's see what's next. Okay, we got this loaf of bread for $1.38 and Luke was talking about like cutting it down the middle and um, like that and then cutting it down the middle and adding garlic and cheese and all kinds of yummy stuff and I was like, heck yes, let's do that. We got this, it's, uh, let's see, the brand is Safey, I think, hot pickled asparagus. That looked delicious. I We got a lot of pickled things today. We were definitely feeling the pickles. We got the best made dill pickles. You know they have the really big jars of like fat pickles, but we didn't know if that would fit in our fridge. So we got this instead. Some golden Greek pepperoncini and some California hot vegetable mix for Luke. And let's see, for me, I got some Beyond Meat Jerky Hot and Spicy. I'm in love with this stuff. It's so good. And also got some original that I hadn't tried yet. This stuff right here, it's amazing. And then for Luke, he got some just great value pepper beef jerky, tomato, basil, garlic, pasta sauce, a thing of meal replacement shakes. We're not that great at eating in the morning. These give us the energy we need and fill our tummies so we don't get cranky. We also got some zebra cakes because, well, why not? 
and some iced marble sliced loaf cake on sale for $2.69. Yeah, we got some junk food in this round, it's true. Some Whoppers for Luke, and I'll probably steal a few. Uh, some more chips, we got some thick and chunky salsa. We get a lot of the great value brands, like if we can find them, we're probably gonna get them. Do you guys do that too, or are you like a brand person? Let us know. Uh, got some more Cholula. Luke could not find his, um, Oh my gosh, Texas Pete, that's what it's called. Kate, thank you for that amazing addiction, my dear. Um, we absolutely love it. And Luke wants some more and we can't find it. So, Cholula it is. He also loves the gourmet nacho cheese. This is like his bag right here, okay? This stuff is like three and a half bucks and he loves it. So, it is what it is. Lastly, but not least, we got some Shiner Box because, some Shiner Bach, because we are in Texas and this is good beer, so. That is the grocery haul. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. We are going to load up and head to our site. So we are here. This is the spot. We've got one other neighbor. There's five spots and we've got like um, a pool over there. It looks like community pool. Got a little lake. Um, there's some kids playing soccer over there. Some people hanging out here. But yeah, it's just these five little spots and you've got everything you need. You've got power, you've got water, and you've got sewer. It's free. It's in a little neighborhood here in Texas and it's 72 hour limit. So yeah, really, really cool. And we're gonna go ahead and get set up now. And I don't know what, maybe we'll drink a beer after that. No maybe about it. We're definitely drinking a beer. Oh, we're definitely drinking one. Okay, cool. It's a cute little area, huh? Yeah. What's this town called? Is it Hereford? Yeah, Hereford. Yeah, H-E-R-E-F-O-R-D. -E so, if you guys are ever in the area and looking for a place to stop for a few days, you can stay here. I read that they do take donations. I'm just not sure where to put them yet, but. Got the party lights on. And it's time for a brisket. Oh. 